The Temporary Podcast is funded entirely by its fans. Want to help out? While listening to the show today, click our Amazon shopping link in the show notes and buy yourself something nice. You deserve it. Your purchases will help fund the show. So you're, you're set for me to begin, man. We. 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 You. We. Hello, everybody. You are now tuned on into the temporary podcast recorded on the 17th day of March, 2013. Today, we'll be discussing the continuity of the SimCity drama, um, the new Star Wars games that have been announced, and our other usual segments. And that's all today, 17th day of March, 2013, on the, the temp- Temporary Welcome, everybody, to the show. Video. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, computer. (laughs) Hello. Well, let's say hello to the audience like that. Hello. There we go. Hello. There we go. (laughs) So uh, how how are you today, Alex? I am very, very tired. Oh, why are you tired? Give me the lowdown. Uh, Bagpipe band played at a bar last night, and we were up till five in the morning. St. Patrick's Day, and that's why we're recording yes. on the seventeenth and not the sixteenth, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Can't resist naughty. the party. Naughty. 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 Naughty on St. Patrick's are, Day. You're roughly that, you know. Naughty. <laughs> 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 Got to get that point. Naughty. I want you to be on time. I want you to watch the temporary podcast. We got an excellent show for you today. We have the yes, Sims, we do. Got the Sim City fiasco part two. <laughs> it, it, Dos. It's, it's still going. Uh, we, we're going to be talking about game development. If you were like working for Nintendo and how mm. how interesting that is, it's actually going to be a really interesting segment. I have a uh, plan for that one. Um, mm. And we're going to be talking about our usual what we've been watching, what we've been playing, and look at some of your viewer submissions. So get excited for that. Whoop whoop. Whoop, whoop, up in the house, dog. Are you, are you ready for the news? Raise the roof. Oh, man. Are you ready for the news, Alex? I am ready for the news. Ready for the news. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> News. News. So, uh... The, uh, the the internet has continued to be up in arms about SimCity. Apparently, the servers are becoming stable. They the EA did not lie. So quote unquote. Oops. <laughs> yeah, now we have video podcast uh, live. <laughs> yes, the the servers are fixed. Now, 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 now. Um. So good on them. Congratulations, mm-hmm. EA, for fixing your servers. We are. Really surprised that you managed to keep them yeah. stable. Now I'm, I'm not surprised they were able to get them stable. I'm just I'm happy for them. I'm very happy for them. You know they were very punctual about it. <laughs> punctual is that the word you want to use? Yes. Uh, yes, I do declare. Um, <laughs> I do declare. Your na- my name is not Claire. It is now. D- declare is that a rapper name? I'm declare. declare. Declare, dog, straight out of Linwood. <laughs> so, uh, SimCity, back to SimCity and out of yes. Declare. Um, <laughs> uh, offline mode is apparently possible in the game, according to some developers. Finally! In, it's possible, but no, 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 happen. no, no, it's, po- it's possible, but it's not in the game. Like, the code exists in the game that would make it possible to have an offline mode. But then why not have an online? Because what what they say is they they're like, well, this is a SimCity experience meant to be played online, so we're not gonna let you play offline. This is a SimCity experience online. 
So, so why not make it like a Facebook game? <laughs> like Sim Social. <laughs> Do you want to be, be my, my neighbor? neighbor on the Sim Social? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, ho, ho. oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, but they didn't activate on offline mode. They're not doing it. They're they're, they're saying no. We don't need that. So. What are your thoughts, Alex, on the decision of a, any game? Let's just, let's just ignore the fact that it's SimCity for right now because mm-hmm. SimCity, everybody has some bad feelings about it. You buy a game, do you mm. expect it to have an offline mode? Of course. You that's do. That's a given, unless unless it's like a massive multiplayer online role-playing game. Well, that's kind of what SimCity, like EA is trying to say. They're trying to say, this is a, a game built to be played online. It's not an MMO. <laughs> But it has multiplayer it's, features. Oh well, yeah, I mean, if it has features, it should be an online part of it. But it's, I mean, I, I think they should stick with the the tradition of you know Sim City. It's well, would it, you, like any Sim game. Okay, well, let's 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 go to a game that I'm sure we all love and dear to our hearts, uh, World of Warcraft. W- well, what should, shouldn't that game have an offline mode where you just go and quest where there is no dungeons and stuff, no like. No, no party things. Should that be a requirement? Are are you upset that the World of Warcraft doesn't have that? No, of course you're, not. You're not. But I then, didn't then, then, it then, to. then why are you upset with SimCity? Because nobody expected that to have an offline mode. They said from the start, this is an online experience. Then why are you upset? Because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you look at all the other Sim games, you know, they've all had, they've all pretty much been offline. Maybe some of them had an online aspect, but they've all had that ability to just be able to sit down anywhere with a laptop or at your computer and play and not have to worry about an internet connection and all the server crap that's going on. Well, let's go back to our example. What about Warcraft 3, Warcraft 2? Didn't they all have uh, offline aspects? Yeah, of course. And they had an online aspect too, didn't they? Yeah. Then why are you angry that World of Warcraft has to be played online? Because it's you're, you're, an MMO. You're explaining the same exact thing, you know. But but Sims is not an MMO. SimCity's not an MMO. It's just Sims online. But that's what they're trying to say. Is this is kind of an MMO? Because the other Sim Cities have been offline. <sighs> you I don't think you're getting my my comparison right now. I think I am, but you're you're missing like you're you're comparing Warcraft and World of Warcraft, which are Two completely different games. It's like saying Sims and Sim City. Huh. I, uh, but Sim City is kind of an MMO. That's what the developers have been saying. They've been saying this is an MMO. That's why you have to play it online. They don't know what an MMO is then. Uh, well, okay. Let's let's let's. What about for piracy? Like that's the reason they they do a lot of times. They have always online. Uh, a lot of there was a debate with Ubisoft games, I believe, like a year back. Yeah, um, oh yeah. Um, wh- what do you think about it? Be that being a piracy a countermeasure to be able to always check that. I don't think EA is going to be hurt by any piracy. <laughs> but I mean, it's the security thing, and they. I don't know, it's their decision, but still, I feel it's just kind of dumb. Dumb? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that it's okay to have some sort of online, like, like activation, but I do not think that an always online connection should be required. I, right, yeah. I, I think that they should maybe do, maybe, I don't want to say periodical checks, because I don't want to say, like, let's say you haven't played a game for a year and you have moved out and you don't have an internet connection for some time or some reason. Right, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see that where all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, I guess I can't play this game because I haven't played for a year. But at the same time, I think that being able to like just have it in the game where it'll check one time and be like, okay, are you activated? Uh, okay, you're, you're activated. You're, you're good. I'm sorry to bother you. And then another time say that rather than having it always be required, have mm. individual like checkpoints – but at the same time, I don't know, like, like, what if you miss a checkpoint? Like, let's say you, you're you, you're offline and you're like, well, I'm sorry, I can't active check my activation right now. Should the game say, well, I'm sorry about that, sir. Uh, we'll let you keep playing right now. But if you don't activate it uh, next time you play, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Again, it's it's yeah, it's it's kind of like a double edged sword there. You 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 always have to have some way to counter piracy by checking to see. Is this a legit game? And people will find a way around it no matter what. 
So I, I think that I don't know. Help me, Alex. Think. <laughs> G- give me your thoughts. I'm I'm pretty much agreeing with you on that. Like, even if you have the anti-piracy measures, people are still going to get around it. So why? Well, there's a why, will, there's a way, but I mean, people, people, pirates have been playing more subsidy than the people who bought it. Yeah, it's true. Probably. No, 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 no. Probably, it's like yes, they have been. <laughs> the, the game was like cracked on day one, and and people were playing oh, it and, and offline mode. Essentially, they've been playing oh. offline. They've been doing what they've been doing, you know, and they've been playing their own offline mode. But the people who bought the game cannot play inside an offline mode. <laughs> Irony. I mean, well, well, it's like, what's your proof that you bought this game? Uh, I have a receipt, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so why uh, do we need to do this stupid online and everything? We don't have to. I think it was just kind of a decision to do it. I, I think that, that SimCity may have lost a lot of customers to this, but they still, oh, yeah. they're, they're still doing really well. Like, like I mean, the it's, game... It's EA. They can't... Like... I mean, the oh, game... this game didn't do too well. Oh, we're gonna go bankrupt well, now. Well, the Maxis, the company that made it, I- I'm pretty sure they were disappointed to, to hear that their game has basically kind of like tanked right out of the gate. But people are still playing because, from what I understand, SimCity is a good game. It is. Yeah, from what I saw, it, it is a pretty good game. But it, 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 there, there's the the, the have to get it onto a server to play it type. Yeah. Thing, which it's some all the people, issues. people view that as a bottleneck. A lot of people do. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I personally have not bought the game. Maybe I will in like a month's time once I hear the server is completely stable. I can get on any time. I mean, I have a steady internet connection. I'm not too worried mm. about an offline mode. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, but I know there are people out there. Or if I took my laptop and I went to my mom's place and she doesn't have her wireless or something, just whatever, <laughs> you know. You know, I, if I'm going to sit on my laptop and I'm like, time to play some SimCity. Oh, yeah. That would mm. kind of suck. That would make me feel kind of sad. But at the same time, I, I wouldn't compl- complain if I couldn't play World of Warcraft because that's an always online game, and I expect that. And maybe right, I should yeah. expect that as SimCity because, like they're saying, it is kind of an MMO. The, 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 this new SimCity, it's kind of an MMO. So, eh, yeah. yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. We're not using that word again, Alex. Gosh darn it, man. <sighs> So, final thoughts on on uh, DRM offline modes and video games, Alex? I hate them. Why well, don't I hate them? It's just I think they're kind of a good idea in some aspects, but it hurts a lot of people. They they'll lose a lot of um, customers because not everybody wants that. Right. Okay. So let's move on to a different topic, which is okay. um, something that came out just recently. Um, Next Level Games. Do you know Next Level Games at all? I do. Uh, do you know any games that they made? Not by heart, no. Uh, they uh, Some of the ones I can uh, remember off the top of my head would be the Mario Strikers games. Like the, 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 okay, yeah. The soccer. The soccer. Or, yeah. or for our European friends, football. Um, <laughs> football. 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 Anyway. Football. Football. Foob. Foo. 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 <laughs> what was Mr. What is what is Mr. T play? Football. I pity football. I, I pity the football, so I kick it. Get away. Um. So they recently came and talked to I what was it Kotaku? Uh, yes. 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 Um. They they talked to Kotaku. Uh, mm. I, what was that nog noise I made? Um. Oh dear. They, they talked to Nintendo, basically like saying. Okay, wh- what do we got going on for this game? Like, uh, like this game, they're developing Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon. And ah. they were saying, you know, what's it like to develop a game for Nintendo? And this is, I'll give you, I'll give you a brief lowdown. They basically said, Miyamoto came into their office like, hey, do you want to make Luigi's Mansion? And they're like, uh, sure. <laughs> and, <laughs> But the problem with just being able to, like, to take on a game is apparently Miyamoto's kind of scary in, in that, like, scary and amazing in that he's very precise about his games. And like, mm. um, Nintendo has always been this way. Like, the, apparently with Wreck-It Ralph, um, the, to use Bowser, like, they, like, Nintendo had, like, a list of requirements on how to make Bowser behave. 
like things he would and wouldn't do. And oh, to us, we're like, like to, to me, when I think of Bowser, I'm just like, who cares? He's a dragon. What, what do I care what he does? But apparently Nintendo is very precise about Bowser, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's kind of like one of their main bad guys in but, Nintendo. Yeah, but at the same time, like, it's Bowser. It's not like he's the most complex villain known to man. It's not like... It's true. <laughs> it, 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 he's a dragon, and he's even been a cuddly dragon, like, friend <laughs> inside some of these games. It's like, yeah. how do you have requirements for this thing? And so th they come to Next Level Games, they're like, here's a Luigi game. This is Luigi. This is how he acts. Mm -hmm. And you need to make this game, and you need to make it good. And apparently, sometimes there, there's like Nintendo is so secretive that they won't even tell them, like what system they're developing the game for. Which, like, like when they start work on Luigi Mansion Two for the 3DS, that was the, they didn't even know they were developing a 3DS game. They had no idea what the 3DS was. Um. <laughs> Over time, they they had they they got to know about what they were developing for. But when they started, they had no idea they were making a 3DS game. <laughs> But the thing about, about Nintendo is apparently they have, like, long game development times. Mm. Like, the, like, that's the thing about Nintendo. They're very strict. They're very secretive. But they're going to give you the time that you need to make a good game. Right. And they'll even let you have some liberties. Like, apparently, you know, they, they said, you know, you know, you know, you can do new things with Luigi, you know, as long as they follow these requirements. But you can, tr you can bend these rules a little bit, you know. Right, right, yeah. Apparently Nintendo is flexible, but at the same time, Miyamoto is known for... Coming and being like, well, this sucks, you know. <laughs> and he, I like this. This is good. And this sucks. Like, like he he's known for uh, flipping the metaphorical tea table. Um, <laughs> I like that flipping the metaphorical tea table. Exactly. Um, so I don't know what what it would be like to to work under Nintendo. Like, <laughs> it, it sounds intimidating intimidating but good at the same time like uh the example that they put inside this case was miyamoto came to them and said oh you can make a multiplayer mode for this new luigi's mansion game mm -hmm. but it will only be allowed in the game if it can be as fun and engaging as mario kart Ooh. and and like next level games like uh, crap. Uh, Mar crap. Mario Kart is freaking amazing. How are we going to... What do we do? What do we do? How are we going to be Mario Kart? And apparently they managed to succeed because there is a multiplayer version in the game. So... Cool. I mean, <laughs> will it be as fun as Mario Kart? I guess time will tell. But, yeah. But apparently Miyamoto is this big scary guy who comes in and he, he's really wise. So like, like the advice he'll give you and like the strict like like guidelines he'll give you are good. But at the same time, you're like, oh, what? No, oh no, what? <laughs> oh no, oh. yeah. Uh, so, I don't know I, I, what, what I want. What I want to discuss about this, um, I thought it was a very interesting article, though. Um, hmm. Just, it's kind a, of behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes at Nintendo, they, they seem a lot different than a game like, uh, like a company like Ubisoft, where it's like you have one year, make Assassin's Creed. Good day. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, apparently Nintendo's like, oh, you need another year to, to make your game? No problem. Because <laughs> what was that quote from Miyamoto? A, a, a bad game is forever bad, while a delayed game can be good or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's not along those lines. So a bad game is forever bad. So, so it's need... better to wait for a good game than get a bad game right away. Right, which I, I like Nintendo's philosophy. I mean, what are your thoughts on game design? Like, if you were a game designer, where would you want to be? Would you want to be inside a fast-paced nature like Ubisoft where, you know, you, you make these excellent games. I mean, they're, they're no, no doubt they're excellent games most of the time. But you, you have and you have a lot of freedom with it. Or mm -hmm. would you want to be under Nintendo where you have more restrictions but more time to be comfortable and, and make it polished? Probably with Nintendo. Oh. I, like the idea of um like if I was making a game or whatever and having like complete freedom the idea of you know I can make a choice and just completely ruin the game mm -hmm. kind of scares me in that aspect like if I put myself in the shoes of like a game developer 
But at the same time, it's just like, you know, I have freedom, you know, I can make whatever I want, you know, make my own game and make it however I want. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, you know, other people are counting on this too. So right. I think the Nintendo, it would be easier to work with them, I think, because you have the more time and you have, you have you know, certain things. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Guideline, that's a good way to put it. Um, I, how could you compare this to, like, I guess, music? We, uh, for those watching the video version of the podcast, ah. they can see your guitar is mm. in there inside the background. Bass um, guitar, yeah. Um, how would you describe this to, to music? Like, if you were maybe somebody in a band where the, the, the Ubisoft version of the band would be, you are writing the song, you are you're making the full thing, and it's mm-hmm. but you're going to have to make the song in a day. You have one day to make a song. Yeah. Or <laughs> You uh, are with the Nintendo band where you're in the background a little bit. You're still playing a major part of the song, but they're going to give you a month if you need it to write this song. They're right. go- they're going to – but the thing is they're going to be telling you this is the style of song you're going to play. These lyrics yeah. have to be in the game right. or, or inside the song. <laughs> um, <laughs> inside the game. So uh, how how would you well, so would you still choose the Nintendo band in that circumstance? Um, not in that circumstance because you know I feel I, I've been a musician for a long time, so I feel more comfortable with my own writing. Um, but doing it all myself in one day, it just depends, I guess. Hey, I mean, it, uh, that's kind of a hard comparison to make, but I kind of like that you made that comparison because, um, like I said, I play bass guitar in the band I'm in now, so I kind of don't have a prominent role in the writing i mean i throw my ideas mm-hmm. out there and everything and i wrote my own part but i don't write the whole song right you know, that's mostly the guitar player's work um and so i could kind of count on them to do it while i add my own flavor to it flavor. um while if i was with ubisoft it's pretty much my own work that i'm doing now which is a lot harder it's stressful and it goes a lot slower mm-hmm. so I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think that Nintendo, what they do is good. That they that they give such freedom, like or, to, or rather like time for for their developments. Right. But but I also I don't know how fun it would be. Uh, I think it might be good if I was just starting off. You know. Yeah. Like like it, it'd be easy if I was a starting developer because then I have mm. uh, I have you know Miyamoto comes in with his big scary voice and says no 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 Luigi wouldn't walk like that. And you know yeah. that you have to redo your character animation. For uh, by the way, apparently they watched Mr. Bean episodes to 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 get the idea of like how Luigi should move and stuff. Really, Mr. Bean compared to Sh- Luigi. I was gonna say I should tweet at Rowan Atkinson and be like, "They modeled Luigi after you." <laughs> but I don't know. I personally would probably choose Nintendo to start, but I think going to something like Ubisoft would be a more viable option later on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like if you're just starting out, Nintendo would be kind of your deal right yeah. okay so give me some more news alex two huge gaming announcements have come out um in the recently. world of, in the world of alex rice Bib, uh, in the yeah <laughs> um saints row 4 has been announced um actually the announcement is i think august 20th is the release date the official release date is, it, is this a rumor or confirmed no this is confirmed is um it? yep well, I'm actually on, on uh, the PC Mag article right now. It's been confirmed the release date is August 20th. Let me see this. Huh. Really? They even, have, they even have a trailer for it. Yep. Oh, well, hot dog. But uh, if you've played any of the Saints Row games, you know what to expect. It's just going to be Grand Theft Auto with a sprinkle of... Multiplayer? G- and multiplayer. And And then, like, a whole heap of crazy. <laughs> right. Um, and they said this game, the the Saints Row Four, is going to be even more over the top than Three was. Like apparently, the leader of the Saints got like elected to be president of the United States, <laughs> which I, is crazy. I, I've never played Saints Row. Um, yeah, and it's just yeah, madness yeah, with yeah. a gun and a car. I, I, um, I, I get what Saints Row is. Like, I mean, mm. uh, who develops it? Um, it was. Oh, shoot, who was it? THQ. Oh yeah, THQ. But yeah, <laughs> or no, THQ. it was it, no Vo- Volition used to. Um, but weren't they under um, THQ? Yeah, 
Um, but then they, they they're like they were making a follow up to Saints Row Three called Saints Row the Third: Enter the Dominatrix, which yeah, um, it was supposed to be a standalone like um, kind mm. of expansion, quote unquote. Right. But um, they ended up like pawning it off to Cock or Kosh. Kosh. I Kosh know. Media. Deep Deep Silver's parent company. It's another developer or whatever. Right. Um. So apparently, some elements of that game are going to be in Saints Row Four. Mm-hmm. And it's I don't know it's it's going to be all like D, uh, like a, some DLC and everything but but apparently it's just going to be a lot of madness and continuing of the story of Saints Row the Third hmm. with ah. the main character being elected as president and then the world gets invaded by some kind of aliens I, from what I understand from reading the I article mean, I find this interesting like um, Saints Row Three just released last year wasn't it uh no. No, Saints Row the Third came in two thousand late two thousand eleven, I think. Oh, late two thousand eleven. Okay, yeah. I, I was gonna compare it to Assassin's Creed and how fast like Assassin's Creed Three like just <laughs> came out and then they're like Assassin's Creed Four, and it, 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 I thought that was the same deal with Saints Row Three, then also in Saints Row Four, but uh, apparently not. Um, hmm. uh, I, apparently I'm slow, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I I. I was this a THQ game though? Was this a THQ yes. thing? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Because th- that's the reason it got sold off. Because THQ went under, and you know everything yeah. there was sold. So, uh, all right. So, so what else do you got? Um. There's that, and also a huge announcement. Want to know a lot of people if this is huge actually huge announcements. Um. No, this is like big, especially in Reddit too. Um. <laughs> in the is... Reddit. <laughs> Shut up and let me talk. <laughs> I'll be quiet now. <laughs> um, two new Star Wars shooters have been announced. Um, Battlefront 3, which people have been waiting for for years, um, and a Battlefront prequel called First Assault. Um, was um, Kotaku... Um, what am I doing here? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Kotaku put out an article about it, um, and how there's, um, like, teaser trailers for First Assault, um, in the gameplay. First Assault's gonna be, like, a Battlefield-style game. Like, you know, Call of Duty, Battlefield, mm-hmm, that kind of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. What? I just keep talking. You're making fun of me. I'm not making um, fun of you. Yeah. Well, there, there's, there's those two, and then there's another one, which they're pushing the other one back farther so they can focus on these two. There's another one, it's called Star Wars 1313. Yeah, I've heard. It's another about that. shooter. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't heard anything about that. Um, but, um, yeah, Battlefront. Because Battlefront Two, if you've played it, you know it's an awesome, awesome game. Never um, played. and people have been waiting for three for a long time, and there was it was in development before, and then that company tanked or scrapped it or whatever. So it was just un like. Is it is, it, then, is it the Duke Nukem of uh? Of Star Wars games, then? I hope not. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> you <laughs> if hope that would happen, I would be so disappointed. You're, you're going to wait 13 years, and then it's going to come out, and you are going to be so disappointed. Yeah. But the uh, the, the teasers for First Assault actually look pretty cool. I mean, it's it's like a pre... Like an early version, you know, like pre-alpha, pre-alpha. render of gameplay and everything. It actually looks pretty cool. Like I is, would is this love confirmed? to buy it. Are these all confirmed? Oh, not not 13, 13. Um, we they're from one. they're from Kotaku, so apparently they're confirmed. Well, I wouldn't always trust Kotaku. Myself, well, yeah, but, but um, um Kotaku burn. All right, continue. <laughs> yep, apparently um Disney had released um the article and has said that they're it's in production, so Something I'm very excited about because I loved Battlefront 2. Huh. I loved it a lot. I played it um, back when I still had my working copy for my PS2. I played it for... Do you, do you not like, have a working copy now? Because I'd be interested it, in it, playing the game to uh, get an idea of what's going on it, here. It's, it, it's temperamental. It really doesn't like to work sometimes. <laughs> do you have to coax the game disc into working? Pretty much, yeah. It's, it's, it's seen better days. It's okay, Star Wars. We shall play this game now. I definitely want to buy a new copy eventually, though. Just because so I can play it again. I mean, I still have all the, you know, save files and everything and all my my kill-death ratios and all my stats and everything, so... But... Star Wars! Yes. Star Wars! I've watched 
five of them ish. Kind there's of. There's six of them. I know there's six of them. That's the problem. Soon to be nine. I don't think I've seen three, and I think I've only seen like four, five, six, a few, like 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 a little bit. I'm getting some glares off camera. Um, but yeah. We'll have to we watch. will fix this. We'll watch some Star Wars and some Lord of the Rings and all the other things that I've missed because I'm stupid. <laughs> Speaking of watching things, it's time to transition to On the Tubes. Hello. Um, <laughs> so, what have you been watching? We'll Hello. start. We'll start with you. We'll start with you this time. Go ahead. And Hello. Oh. Um. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what have you been watching? Um, I've been watching um, comedians. Uh, comedians. Like I've discovered, I haven't discovered the the very vulgar and coarse, but I find him completely hilarious. Louis C.K. Um, I've been watching um, Joe Coy, Christopher Titus, um, Jim Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan, these... oh, he's a good one. He's one of my favorites. Um, just all these comedians, I've just been, you know, finding their specials and watching them, and just like in the background, and some of them are hilarious. Um, I've been watching more Who's Line as usual, and you've got me watching YouTube poop. A lot. Oh of it now. yes. Okay. That so... Aladdin one was. Oh my god. So 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 here's the deal. We'll we'll, we'll set up the scenario for the audience. Here. Okay. So so Alex and, and me, we we, we we occasionally chill downstairs inside the living room. I usually hang out mm. there to play World of Warcraft on my laptop after after work is done. I wasn't slacking. And um. <laughs> And then what we do is we'll, we'll start up the Wii U and go onto the YouTube app and and we'll just be like, come on, let's let's search for YouTube poop because you know th those things are pretty. If you don't know what YouTube poop is, it's where they basically mash up everything. It's you on go, YouTube. I, you gotta watch it. It's pretty stupid and hilarious. They're they're madness in a video. Yes, and they can make you go mad. Like the, some of them have. Sc they're like almost it's like half of them have like just like weird screamers in them that don't like really scare you, but you know. Yeah. Um, Squad of love, we're off. <laughs> you okay there? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've been watching a lot of YouTube poop, and uh, I, I gotta say, I'm. I, I I think we gotta watch some more maybe tonight. Yeah. Like do, probably. Do, do, do you have work tomorrow? No. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we might have to have a World of Warcraft night down here. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay. Maybe. Um, and uh, what have I been watching? Thank you for asking me, Alex. Um, well, other than Monk and Survivor, <laughs> uh, my usual, my usual stuff is. I've been watching Worcester, and that's something else we've been watching together. Worcester, yeah. Oh, my. So much Australian rage. Okay, so Worcester is this uh, Australian speedrunner who speedruns Pokemon games. <laughs> and this man has the best <laughs> rage you'll ever see on the internet. And so oh, my God. We got a link to him inside the, the description, but uh, he's, he, like... Not safe for work. Not safe for work. This man is absolutely insane, but it's hilarious. It's literally the like the, if if you want to watch somebody rage, it's probably one of the best sources to watch it. Like, yeah, because you know he can just be playing some Pokemon, and all of a sudden everything starts to go wrong. <laughs> is Mike making something in the microwave? Yes, I just heard a beep. Yes, he is through you. Yes. Through you, I heard a beep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Oh. We have uh, we have microphones all over the house. <laughs> um, Big Brother is watching you. Everybody's watching you. <laughs> da <laughs> creepy Dance Dance Revolution guy. Everybody's watching you. Uh, okay, when it comes to something else I watched, and uh, you might want to click this link that I put up there, Alex. Uh, it's a it's a remix of the Lucky Charms commercials. Oh boy. <laughs> and it's. It, it the, the, it's absolutely madness, but it's so good. Uh, I'll, I'll let Alex take listen here. Are you listening in? Uh, I have an ad right now. Oh, uh, give that guy some money. He deserves it. <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> Melody man. sheep. Melody sheep. Um, now uh, back to your, your topic of comedy specials. Uh, I've been, mm. I, I haven't been watching them myself. I used to watch them quite a bit on Netflix, but I haven't like watched any recently because. 
I, I usually only watch cleaner comedians. I don't mind if they swear a little bit, but I I, I just don't want like. Uh, what did Chaco, a member of the Fuck Free community, go see? Uh, hmm. What did he go see? What's his name? Um, Tracy uh, Morgan. Tracy Morgan. Tracy yeah. Morgan. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> yeah. So so um, I, I wouldn't like go to watch somebody like that. Uh, I like Jim Gaffigan a lot. Ben Bailey. Uh, ben Bailey. Um, this is awesome. Are you listening to it now? Yeah. Oh yeah. Good stuff, eh? I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> He's so Irish, I love it. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> They're always after my lucky charms. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Are you having fun there? Uh, oh my god, I'm going to watch the rest of that later, but that's that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so check out that video as well. Now, uh, Alex, we're, we're, let's go talk about what we've been playing. What happened? Was that our transition? I think so. <laughs> what have you been playing, Alex? <laughs> um, I've been playing a little bit of Rift. I'm actually starting to like this MMO. No! Um, it's, I'm not going to stop playing WoW. Are you crazy? No! <laughs> Rift is free, so no. I, I'm just casually playing it. Um, World of Warcraft, of course. World of Warcraft. Wow. Um, Saints Row the Third. I've been getting up playing around with it again, just because mm. I have a mm. tank and it's fun to just run over cars and shoot people. <laughs> and um, I, I found my old Game Boy Advance, and I've been you playing Final Fantasy One. Yep. The, the 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 crappy one. Do you have it? Do you have it handy? Uh, I don't. It's under my bed. Okay, then never mind. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you must have had some very fun playing Final Fantasy. I hate this game. Under the <laughs> bed. <laughs> I don't know where else to put it. I mean, my bed's three and a half feet off the ground, so. How about a table? I don't have a table. I have a base hand. Get a table head. job. Anyway. I could put it on my base hand, because that's, like, right there. <laughs> huh. Welcome to Room Rearranging with Alex. <laughs> huh. So, have you been playing So you've been playing Final Fantasy? Yep, I've been playing through Final Fantasy 1 again. I, I've never played that game. Like, I, I mean, kind of. I've, it's a classic. It's good. Is that the one that was the NES one? Like the original yes, original? Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Oh, it's, it's a it, remake. Yeah, it's, it's a remake. slightly different. Like, um, in the original, um, like, the stats worked different. Like, um, there's a monk class in monk. it. Um, in the original NES version, you know, you had if you put armor on him and gave him a weapon, you know, he's stronger. Well, in the Game Boy version, it kind of plays true to Dungeons & Dragons logic a little bit. That a monk wearing no armor, so basically completely naked with no weapon, is as strong as he could possibly be. Really? They kind of adopted that. Yeah, I figured that out. Like it, it's that that's called a sky clad monk, and sky they're pretty. Clad. They're pretty beasts. So, yeah. <laughs> Step one to winning inside of Final Fantasy: remove all of your clothing and begin attacking monsters. <laughs> exactly. So there I was running through the dungeon naked with a pickaxe. <laughs> Do you remember oh, that quote? I don't remember that quote. Yeah. Um, I was explaining uh, a World of Warcraft. Thing. How long ago was that, though? That was back in my junior year of high school. That was been a while. Four right? years ago. Wow. Four five years ago. We're old. <laughs> I turned 20 on Wednesday. 20? Oh, wow. Yep. I thought it was Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. I did my math wrong. <laughs> you didn't even know when your birthday was. Am, am I nineteen? I didn't I know my I'm birthday 19, was. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know my birthday was next week until like last week. Like I had no idea. I just didn't care. So and everybody, make like, sure oh, you leave your happy birthday messages for Alex today. On the twentieth, yeah. On the twentieth, yes. Don't leave them now, or else you will be killed. <laughs> I will ignore them until the twentieth. Yeah, uh, you, <laughs> Alex just responds to your message slash me no. ignore. <laughs> no. Is this is this our typing movement? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, what have I been playing? Thank you for asking. Um, You're welcome. I've been playing Yoshi, and World of Yoshi. Warcraft, and Ocarina of Time, and Minecraft. Those are my usuals. And the one mm. thing I haven't been playing, but I'm planning on playing very soon, is getting back in Assassin's Creed because I want to play Assassin's Creed Three. I have been waiting to play that game <laughs> for too. so long. Like so, me too. I just I need to beat this game. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to buy Assassin's Creed Three till like next month or whatever. But still. by the time we get to Assassin's Creed Three, Assassin's Creed Four is gonna be out. I know. 
and that's what sucks. <laughs> it's really disappointing, mm. but I I'm, can't I'm, keep up with you, Ubisoft. We're not as fast. My, Mike just. Oh, gave I'm me... I'm ready to play three. Like I beat Revelations. Uh, Mike like, just a gave week me his wallet. Why, Mike? Why did you give me your wallet? It's on sale right now. Like... It's on sale. I don't want it on Steam. <laughs> I want it on the Wii U. Thank you for the offer, though. But take your wallet back. <laughs> Here, go buy it. No, I, I, <laughs> he's hand you his wallet. I know. I'm just like, hey, oh, you stole my wallet. Um, Were you a doorbell? Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, uh, hello everybody, welcome to Hi. our viewer submissions part of the podcast, it's your, it's basically your segment, we do it for you. Yeah, um, if you have a viewer submission, email it to us at temporarypodcast at gmail.com. That, um, that was the correct email, Alex. Yeah, because I actually read it this time. I, <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, we will accept Most your Most of the art. time I just kind of guess. Yeah. Just guessing. Uh, we have art submissions. You you can you can you give us some art. You can uh, give us some audio and video questions. We will put them on screen or uh, like uh, text questions. And we can't accept everything uh, just due to time. But we are actually caught up now. So uh, for this next episode, be sure to send us some some stuff. Um, yes. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, but first, let's cover our weekly poll. Uh, last week's question. What was last week's question, Alex? Uh, what was last week's question? <laughs> well, the question... You didn't put it in the... I thought you had better memory than one week. Oh, um, will the Wii U outsell the PS4 and the new Xbox? Yes, there you go. Bravo, That's what it was, Alex. yeah. Bravo, all right. And so, so give us some results. Give us some results, Alex. Report. Um, so we had a total of, uh, how does math? Roughly, uh, okay, I was going to say roughly 100 votes. Um, 22 uh, votes, which is 20%. Country? What? Oh, go with overall. Overall. Okay. Percentage. There's okay. a country it's column. Okay. Like, it's the same thing as overall. It's okay, Alex. Nobody outside the country voted. <laughs> um, 22 votes towards it will definitely outsell it so them so just saying no the wii will definitely outsell them like the wii did right um 22 also voted it will barely outsell it so a total of 44 which is over 40 percent said you know it's gonna outsell it either by a little bit or a lot um 37 votes which is 33 percent of the vote Will uh, said it will barely not outsell it, so it'll do good, but it won't do quite as good as the PlayStation and Xbox. Mm -hmm. Um, and then twenty eight votes said it will partially not outsell it. So basically, like it's, it's gonna bomb. Gonna, it's just gonna tank. It's gonna yeah. bomb, yeah. So, um, that's this is a very interesting poll result because the the, yeah. the answers are pretty split. Although there is a definite lean towards it not out uh, not right. outselling, yeah. which I find interesting. Uh, that that. People are that like that. I think that it's interesting. We have twenty percent of people who are saying that we're gonna have a repeat of last generation. We have twenty percent that are gonna say it's going to beat it. But but then right. we have a an entire like sixty percent basically overall saying this thing is not going to outsell it. Which I right yeah. I find that very interesting. So it's basically a big sixty forty split overall. Um, yeah, give, give or it's... take a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what are, what are your thoughts again on this, Alex? Because I don't remember. Um, I said it's probably going to outsell it at this point. We'll just have to see pricing what? on the PlayStation Three four. or Four, rather. Um, whenever Xbox gives or Microsoft gives their announcement with the right. 720 or whatever it's called, I don't know. Um, whenever that happens, we'll I'll come back and revisit. But, but revisit it. But at this point. The Wii U is going to outsell because the PlayStation 4 is not selling because <laughs> right. it's not out. Right. Um, they have a they have a they have a head start on it. So, good thoughts. Um, this week's poll. Make sure you submit an answer. Is do you think an offline mode should be a requirement for every game? And uh, we we are using the word every. Uh, 
Pretty strong. In all capital letters. And pretty strongly. Do you think there should be an offline mode in MMOs? Like, does SimCity count as an MMO? So that, that that's what I want to hear. Should there be an offline mode requirement in every game? Um, or do you think that would like, detract from the overall game experience as right. the SimCity developers think it does? All right. So we have, we have some questions from our, from our fans. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Alex, would you like to read this first one? Kyle asked us, Someone breaks into your house and steals most of your Legend of Zelda belongings. <sighs> However, they leave five Zelda games behind. That's a very specific number. <laughs> five Zelda games. Five. Five, exactly. Which five games would you like them to be? You have a choice, which is weird. Like, the thief's like, oh, I'll give you the choice. I'm going to steal everything. But <laughs> okay, you all right, these. you, you. I don't have enough room for five games. <laughs> you you want to keep five? Uh, I'll be I'll be cool, man. Just what five? Yeah. You want. Okay, I'll go first. Okay. The Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, Skyward Sword, um, Link to the Past. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm re I'm redoing my answer. Okay, The Wind Waker, <laughs> Zelda Collector's Edition. Oh, that's cheating. Oh, that, that's not cheating. That's not cheating. It's a game. <sighs> that takes all great time. Majora's Mask, Zelda 1. Zelda 1 and 2. Link to the Past. Uh, then, then, I'll, then I'll take Link's Awakening and Skyward Sword. So. I'm going to disclude this, the collector's edition because I feel like that's cheating. That's not cheating. I say it is. No, you're wrong. Blech. Okay. But Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time. Link's Awakening, A Link to the Past, and Legend of Zelda 1. Zelda, Zelda 1. Yeah, okay. yeah, Zelda 1. Sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, fair enough answers, I guess, but I don't know. I feel very... I feel like I'm not cheating if I take Collector's Edition. <laughs> That's a loophole. Okay, okay. How about I just keep my Wii? It already has the virtual console versions of most of them. So yeah. I win. You lose, Robber. Thanks for game playing. Over. Thanks for playing my game, Robber. Well. Thank you for playing Bob's game. Anyway. Oh, wow. Uh, we have an audio question in from You Is Dead, so let's play it now. Hey, MC and Rice. This is You Is Dead 99 over on the Minecraft fan server, and I have a question for you. If you could pick one way for Link to die... And you don't really have a choice in the matter. He's going to die. How do you kill him off? This is going to be the end of his series. He has no more games after this. How do you do it? And you have to answer this question, MC. I'm not letting you skip by this. Well, hmm. an intriguing question has been posed by you is dead. Link has to die. Right. This is going to be the last game with Link ever made. And we get to kill him off. How do we kill him off? Ha ha. I feel like an evil genius. Well, you feel like an evil genius. Well, well, I feel do, like a super villain. Do you, do you have an answer? I feel like we should let Ganondorf decide. <laughs> that, that That's not inside the... Let, let Ganondorf decide. Yo, Ganon. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Link's got to die. What are we going to do? Boil him in hot water. Uh, we don't have enough water. Yeah, man, we can kill him any way you want. <laughs> we don't have enough. Ganondorf just has like a Jamaican accent for some reason. Well, Ganondorf does not have a Jamaican accent. He could. Boy, them in the hot water. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think so. I'm not good at Jamaican accents. I don't know how good that was, but um, that was bad. Bad. Okay. Yeah. Um. Never do it again. I'm still avoiding the question. How do I kill this guy? Um, <laughs> I think it would be cool and and awesome. If he died in like an explosion of sacred power <laughs> during a battle with Ganondorf or something, like like he goes Triforce power to Triforce power, and there's like shooting beams out of their hand, like like, pfft, and then it just blows them both up. That would be an awesome way for both Link and Ganondorf to be killed off in the series. Like hmm. th- like the eternal struggle is met with them both dying at once. Come, Dragon come, Ball Z style. Yeah, Dragon Ball <laughs> Z style. I don't know. That that's what I think would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Like like the the triforce of courage and power both go head to head inside yeah. an all out sacred power battle. I, I think that'd be pretty cool myself. Mm-hmm. How about yeah, you? That, that's one way to go about it. I'm gonna go with the irony. The irony? Swarm of cuckoos. 
hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So that's going to be the end of the podcast for this week. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Make sure you comment and vote on our weekly poll. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you can check out our show on RSS or on iTunes, uh, as well as the video version is on YouTube. We now have cameras. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was been our number one request, and we are pretty glad to have brought it to you. Um, so thank you all, as always, for being beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful, audience. We can look right into your eyes now. Just hello, ladies. Ladies. There, 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 there are. For, you know, Alex, you're, you, you, you had your hand like this. You had your hand like this, like, like or, or by your shoulder or whatever. And I thought you, like, literally had your shirt off for a moment because I just saw a skin <laughs> shoulder. And it was just your hand. I was, like, I was like, did he take off his shirt? Why would he do that? <laughs> that is I no, should. I should. No, next you shout. Shout is not a word. That's all time we have. See you all next time on The Temporary Podcast. Bye-bye.